Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a basic cross table, also known as a contingency table, using R. Uh, R base to be precise, so no packages are required. I'll be using an example data that I stored as a CSV file. Uh, it's using a semicolon and just to make sure uh, any blanks or NAs are actually uh, accounted for. So let me just load that in and I'll show you the data which can be done up here so I simply have two uh, variables gender and marital status and I would like to create a cross table out of these now to do that you can I'll put it as my table and the table will be the name of the data file uh, dollar sign and then the variable name oh the variable name got lost now there we go and uh, the other one so Let's run that into the console by pressing Ctrl Enter. Oh, the dollar sign got there. Okay, and let's show the table. And as you can see, the marital, uh, the first one I entered is actually listed in the rows, and the other one is listed in the columns. So if you want that the other way around, these two. Now, um, you might want to know the uh, row totals so you can do that by using margin dot table and then my table which is uh, the one you just created and then comma one so the comma one represents that you want the totals of the rows so in this case of the marital status so the divorced is the 172 plus the 142 is indeed 314 if you change that to comma two you actually get the column totals and I'll show you those as well. So 172 plus five 516, etc., should bring you to 1068. Now, if you want percentages based on the overall total, you can use prop uh, as proportions table and then enter simply the table. So these are all the percentages, and all of these together actually add up to 1 or 100%, if you will. If you want them based on the row totals, you use comma 1 again. And I'll show you those as well. So now each time these two add up to a 1 or 100%. And if you use comma 2, it will give you the percentages based on the column total. So now all of these actually add up to 100% or 1. And all of these add up to 100 or 100%. Uh, um, and that's all there is to it as a basis for using cross tables in